hello friends welcome to take dose and in this video i will show you what is heap sort and how it is implemented if you have not yet subscribed to our channel then please do so because i will be putting up this type of videos in future as well so let us get started i have already drawn a max heap here as you can see and how is a max heap implemented any heap is implemented using an array okay and you must be knowing that if something is root if root is equals to i then its left child will be equals to 2i plus 1 and its right child will be equals to 2i plus 2 okay using this formula a heap is actually stored in an array so how this max heap will be stored in our array if we create an array then 100 will be stored as root and its index will be 0 ok now its left child will be stored at 2i plus 1 that means 2 into 0 plus 1 that means 1 so at the first index 19 will be stored and similarly the right child of 100 that is 36 will be stored at 2 into 0 plus 2 which will be 2 then at the second index 36 will be stored now 100 is completed then we move on to 19 and the left and the right child of 19 will be stored similarly at 2i plus 1 and 2i plus 2 so if we do 2i plus 1 for 1 then it comes out to be at index 3 17 will be stored and similarly at index 4 3 will be stored and following this 25 and then 1 is also stored like this so this is how a heap is stored using array now we need to sort it so how a um, heap is sorted let us consider this max heap if we want to sort it in descending order then what we will do we will just replace the first element with the last one and then max heapify the element or the heap i will show you let us just replace this 100 with one okay so here it will be 100 and here it will be 1 now we will delink this and will store this 100 in a separate result array so suppose our array is storing first of all only 100 ok this is the result array and this is our input that means the max heap max heap now since we have replaced this and we have unlinked this from 36 then what we will do next is that we will just max heapify the root so what does the max heapify mean the max heapify will check among the root and its left child and right child whichever is the largest that will take the position of the root and the root will be replaced at that location so for this root element we have three elements in consideration 1 19 and 36 so which one is the largest obviously 36 is the largest and so this 36 will come at the root position and whatever was in the root position will be replaced with this 36 okay and this max ep5 will go on we can also call it as a percolate down like the water percolates through the earth now this one will be compared with its left and right child it has no right child because we have unlinked this and so it will only be compared with the left child so here we have two elements in consideration 1 and 25 and since 25 is the largest so it will replace this one and then one will come here so our heap structure will change the heap will now look like this 36 25 1 19 17 and 3 okay this one is 17 this is our new max heap structure the array in which the max heap was stored will also change according to this okay and this array will become 36 19 25 17 3 and 1 this structure will change accordingly now let us pick the second element this 36 will be replaced with the last element and why are we picking this root element because we know that the root is the largest element and we want to arrange in the descending order so whenever we take out the root 
it means we are taking out the largest element it is confirmed so this 36 will be replaced with this one and this one will come to the root and we will need to unlink it and save it in our resultant array okay so this will become 36 and now we will maxify it so here we have three elements in consideration 1 9 and 25 so which one is the largest obviously 25 so 25 will replace 1 and this one will come here and then we will maxify this one since it has no left child and right child remember we have unlinked this so it has no left child and right child so we will stop here and the percolate down operation will also stop so we have got the second element the zeroth index and the first index of the result now the maxif structure looks like this it will be 25 19 17 3 and this one will be 1 if we maxify it again then what we will be done is that we will pick out the root element that means we will just replace it with the last element now the last element is 3 and we will replace it with 3 and 3 will come to the root and we will unlink this and store this 25 in our resultant array okay so this will go to the second index and then what will be done is that from the root we will max cp5 so we have three elements in consideration now 3 19 and this one which one is the largest obviously this 19 so this will be replaced with the root element and this will become 19 and this will become 3 now 3 will be compared with its left and right child remember we have unlinked this right child so it will only be compared with the left one and since left child is 17 which is greater than 3 so 17 will replace this 3 and 3 will come down now since 3 has no left and right child so this percolate down operation will also stop and now we have three elements in our resultant array and the max heap structure will look something like this it will be 19 17 right child will be 1 this will be 3 now this is our max heap structure if we again do the same operation then we will pick out the largest element now this time we have the largest element at the root now we will again perform the same operation on this root element we will replace it with the last element and the last element will come to the root and then we will unlink this and store this 19 in our resultant array and then we will maxify this 3 so here it will have 3 elements in consideration 3 17 and 1 and which one is the largest yes 17 is the largest and then 17 will come here to the root and 3 will get replaced at 17's location now we will move to 3 and we will see that there is no left and right element and so max cp5 will stop now our structure looks like 17 3 and 1 now we will again replace this 17 with the last element which is 1 and this one will go here and we will unlink this and store this 17 in our resultant array which is at fourth index 17 and we will max cpify this one when we max cpify this one there are only two elements in consideration one and three so three since three is the largest so this will replace one and then the structure will look like this one three and one okay now we again do the same operation we will replace this three with the last element and we will unlink this and store this 3 in the resultant array and then we will max cpify so when we max cpify there is only one element so there is no need to max cpify and it will stop here and the structure will look like this it has only one node one so when it has only one node we will just simply put it in our resultant array and will remove it from the max heap so this is how a heap sort works i will just show you the steps by using transition arrows this was our first step this was our second step the third step the fourth step fifth and then the sixth step okay this was our steps
i will share the code for this hip sort in the description below so do check it out if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to help our channel and to see more of the tech videos